Let's do the old triangle. The old triangle. I don't have to do the fake Irish accent if it's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it's not uh, what we wanted. I was told. I was told fake Irish. Accent. <laughs> I was told fake Irish. Accent. With the cult, it was never this mysterious god of the film, who you never see. You're making the music for them, and you know that they have to like it. They have to like it, or it'll never get heard. And they're off somewhere, and you're making this music somewhere else, and you know it'll get to them eventually, but. You know, will they like it, will they not like it, you don't know. With the Coens, they're there, they're on the couch, they're listening during the takes. They're the Coens and they're sitting there and they're tapping their feet and they're mouthing along and they're having a good time. And the old triangle when jingle jangle And all of a sudden, when the guys, when the guys who this music is for, they're there in the room, all, it can become a show, like we're used to as musicians. We can put on a show. We can sing a song. Up in the female prison, there are 75 women, and among them I wish I did dwell. The Punch Brothers were doing the acapella arrangement for Old Triangle, and Marcus and I were listening to it. I looked at him, I said, this, this needs a bass part. I'll sing this one like a bass part. Okay, that's around one more. You know what I mean? And the old triangle. All along the banks of the Royal Canal. It's just singing songs, really, with different guitars and different voices and different instrumentation. You know, you can make a, an old song sound me. That's the spirit of it, and that spirit is infectious, so I think people will like it.